This snippet is An Introduction to Inserting Silverlight with Expression Web. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll discover the various ways that Silverlight 3 content, including video, animation, user interface, and deep zoom content can easily be added to your website. First, we'll look at a finished example in our browser, and then we'll come back to Expression Web 3, and you'll learn how to add these elements using Expression Web's interface. So I'm going to get started here by going into my browser. And the first thing you can see is this rotating slideshow. And this entire top half of the screen is all Silverlight. If we look at this navigation bar at the very top, this is all Silverlight as well. We can see the rollover animations every time we hover over a section. And I'll go ahead and click now on the gallery section. We navigate to the gallery section. And here we can see our deep zoom content. So all of this area here is deep zoom. Deep Zoom is a technology that allows the user to zoom in and out of high-resolution photos. And additionally, we can scroll around, as you can see here. Next, we'll navigate to the video section. And here we can see that Silverlight video has been added to our page. At the very bottom, we have our play button. And what we can see here is we have a number of user interface elements, including a scrub bar and the ability to pause, change the volume, and additionally, we can actually see this video in full screen. I'll go ahead and press play here and then click on the full screen playback. So let's go back to Expression Web and you'll learn how to add all of these elements to your page. I'm going to close the browser now. The first thing I'll do here is add the Silverlight Navigation and Slideshow. I'm currently within my default.html page. I'll choose Insert Media. Now we can see within this Insert Media menu, most of the options we'll be using are here. So insert Silverlight, insert Silverlight video, and insert Deep Zoom. For now, we'll choose insert Silverlight. And we simply need to point to the zap file that we'd like to include. In this case, this one here, Lucerne nav header zap. I'll click on that file, choose open. I'll go ahead and accept these changes. And the only thing I need to do is make sure that the width and height of my Silverlight application fits the width and height of this container. So I'll simply click on it. And within Tag Properties, I'm going to change the height to 418 pixels and the width to 980. Now what we're seeing here is a blank placeholder that represents our Silverlight content. However, if I choose File, Preview in Browser, and then Save, we can see our new Silverlight header and slideshow appear. I'll go ahead and close the browser again. And let's add our Silverlight video. I'll click on the video.html page, click in this section below the header, and choose Insert, Media, Silverlight Video. I'll point to this file, which is a WMV file, and choose Open. In this case, we see an Insert Silverlight Video panel appear. Now, it's possible to encode your video directly from Expression Web. In fact, the video compression here is actually taking place with Expression Encoder, an application that's included with Expression Studio. Now, if it was necessary, we could actually encode that video using a number of settings, including an industry standard H.264. However, in this case, we're going to simply allow the source encoding settings to remain. And the other thing I'd like to point out is that here we have a number of different templates that we can use to skin your video. In my case, I'll go ahead and use this one, the clean template, and we can see a small preview of that template down below. Anytime you want to preview a template, you simply choose one, such as black glass. And here we can see the interactive template preview below. We also have a number of other options here. I'll leave those alone for now and press encode. Once that video is done encoding, again, we can see a blank placeholder here. And if we preview this page within our site, Once we open the browser, we can now see our video playing in the lower half of the page. And again, we can see all the controls here that we pointed out earlier. I'll go ahead and close the browser again. And the last thing we'll look at is our deep zoom content. So within this page, gallery.html, I'll click once below the heading and choose Insert, Media, Deep Zoom. I'll navigate through my deep zoom project. I'll find the appropriate XML file that I'd like to import, and I'll click Open. Here we see our Insert Deep Zoom window. We'll make sure Silverlight only is checked. We also have the option to change the width and height. For now, 640 by 480 is fine. 
I'll go ahead and click OK. And in a similar fashion to the Silverlight content and the video content, we have a blank placeholder here, which if we open this page within our browser, we can see our deep zoom content located here in the gallery section. In a similar way to the video, we can go ahead and preview this within the page. I'm scrolling in and out using my mouse button, and I'm clicking and dragging around to see the deep zoom content. We can also go full screen if we choose by clicking the full screen control in the bottom right hand corner. So in this snippet, you've had a chance to look at some of the ways you can insert Silverlight content into a web page using Expression Web 3. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.